Hi, I'm Amy Taz, I'm PA Tutor Lead of the Recovery College. After you've cut around the pattern pieces, you pin them onto your fabric using the straight of get grain. And also that's the chin piece and that's the nose piece. And you know that because there's a dart there. And these are the lining pieces, but I'm cutting that in the same fabric. Um, and I've put some extra fabric there so we can make a few extra at the same time. Okay, so now we're gonna cut them all out. Okay, so we've got four pot pattern pieces, uh, two of them are for lining, and then that's the chin rest, and that's the nose piece, and if you put a pin through that centre there, that little gap, and this pattern you can get from the Elft website, um, uh, and we'll put a link to it as well. So you put the pin through and mark each piece with a little dot, and then you know that's the end of the dart. Uh, and also the same thing with the lining um, and then just little snips will tell you your seam allowance so those notches there uh, so it'll just make it easier when you actually get to the sewing machine so I've just looked at this pattern and it says cut one pair so that means we need another one, set of these so I'll just place them next to an empty place and cut round You've got your lining piece and you've got your side piece, one side there, one side there. So we'll stitch those pieces together first and then we'll do the dart and then we'll take it to um, the press. So I'll take the pins out of the pattern pieces and, we, and I'll place them next to each other where they're going to be stitched. So this wider part, wider part goes there and this is the side part and then we've got our little dart there. So just to keep it organised, keep those pieces together so we don't get confused. And then we'll start with one layer at a time and I think I'm making quite a few there all in one go. So I'll place this one there, so that's going to stitch there, and I'll place uh, that one there and that will stitch there and then I'm just stitching those flaps onto the lining piece, so like that, and then place it one centimetre and stitch down. So I'll do this one and then I'll waste through the other ones. Okay, so that, and then flip it over and that side. Reverse. Cut. Uh, and can you use that blade to cut there? And you've got that. And now you've got that little dot where that was to make it easier. Stick the pin through that area there. And then that's where your dart is going to finish. So you can just stitch along that little angle, one centimeter, up to that point where the needle is. That takes it away and reverse. And there you've got your nose section. Okay. So now we've got this sort of almost looking like a mask. <laughs> okay, so now I've taken it over to the ironing board. I'm just going to clip the extra threads and it just keeps everything tidy and just get those out of the way like that. Um, you get your iron and you open, open up those seams. So and then you just press those. with a bit of vacuum um, and not every iron board is going to have that little feature but, um, and then this little nose bit you can press that open as well so then we've got that sort of look and this is the lining so we've got that sort of type of look 
on the chin is going to go there. Right, so this is the front part and it says there, uh, outer mask. Um, and you can cut one thin wadding, that's optional. Um, but I think one lining and one piece, that's enough really. Um, and then we do the same thing with the pin through that little point because that's our dart. Put that aside and put that there. And oh, actually, if I put it through that side, and then we're going to stitch that. And this is our chin rest, so that goes on the other side, on the on the bottom bit. Okay, so just that little triangle gets stitched. Stitching it back. So created another. Can trim the threads as you go along, it will make it faster. Um, and then, if you fold that, okay, so we've done that little nose dart, then fold it in half, and then that's the lower edge. This is the sew to the edge of mask, so this rounded bit with the notch there. That piece, um, you need one of those. Just get one, just get one, and then place that there. So, making sure that that's half, that's half, and you put a pin through there, and that's your chin rest. So, and we just zip down there one centimeter. So we're going to have another bunch of these as well because you need one for the actual body and one for the lining. So that one needs a whole bunch of cutting. Okay, so then you've got that sort of look. Now it is looking like a mask. Okay, so this is the front of the mask. So we're just going to open that dart that's for the nose. Give that a little press. Like that, make sure it doesn't cheat. Bit of steam, and then this curved bit, you just need to press that around. Uh, open up that seam. but you want a nice curve on there and press that open as well okay and just get in there okay just make sure that's so now we've got a nice finish back to the machine and do a chin rest on the lining piece. So a rounded bit, uh, chin bit again with the bottom part opposite the, um, the nose dart. Uh, that needs stitching. So we put the pin in there and stitch around. That's our lining piece. We've got the chin rest, we've got the nose dart, we've got the side flaps and then this is our main front of the, the mask. We place the two darts together and we're going to stitch the top all the way across and the bottom all the way across and then we'll just pull through. So let me do that. Okay, so I've stitched around that bottom edge there 
that's the chin bit and I've stitched across round there so that's the top so now we've got a little bit of a tube happening there so then I'll just push it through all like that pull it through until you've got your mask which is a strip okay so this should be something that you can wash and reuse this is not a one-time use because it does take time to make okay so just like that you've pulled it through and then give it a, give it a press so we've got our tailor's hand there uh, we're just gonna sort of press that to get a nice neat edge like that until you've gone all the way around and pressed it okay, so we're left with these little bits at the end um, so I just folded that over and put some uh, elastic through and then I'll just stitch that down with the elastic through so I don't have to thread it through later okay and then stitch along same with that side and then you just figure out how much elastic is actually needed to go around the ear. I've cut around that much um, and then it just needs folding over and the zigzag stitch loads together and then do the same with that side so both sides have got ear loops. Oh, there, it looks like a hammock. Can you put it on? It's one either ear and you've got, hey presto, 